Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Happiness and Crafting. So today I've been having a really lovely play with some packaging again. Um, so if you saw my last video, or um, I'm going to pop a link down below on the recycled packaging, ink, gesso and gold paint. Well, this is the ink, gesso and embossing powders. So this is really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. So I won't show you how to do the papers. Um, because I showed you that in the last one, so I've got some ready to do um, But it's just again using the recycled packaging, which is fantastic and it's free um, And I've just embossed on top with some um, Beautiful the, on this one is silver embossing powder um, This one is some gold embossing powder with some glitter in it This one here is a really nice one actually It's a verdigris embossing powder which comes out really nicely this one I absolutely love um, and this is a gold embossing powder and what I've used, I've just used stencils um, I've used stencils and some embossing ink um, and I think they came out absolutely fantastic this one is very mermaidy isn't it just beautiful and this one is just some black embossing powder um, and they are just stencils um, so you can do it on any packaging that you want or any paper that you want as well um, And I think it just looks really really lovely um, And again, I will be making some things out of these um, in another video, but I'm absolutely loving them So I'm going to just show you how I did it. I've got some paper and some stencils here So I've got a, just a mixture of some stencils here just plastic ones. So anything that you've got um, you can use now I've got three left here because I've just been loving doing what I'm doing So this has just got, um, I did the base in gesso So the packaging, I just covered the, the base in gesso and I've inked over the top Very very similar to what I did before um, This one I just did in black, well gesso and then put the black ink on top And this one was gesso with blue, different blues on there so what I thought I might do, I did a black one, I thought it might look quite nice with silver on it. So I'm going to pick, I've got this to put my embossing powders on. So I'm going to have a nice shiny embossing powder. So this is one's got glitter in it. This is called silver tinsel. Do excuse my hand, they are absolutely filthy. Um, so I'm just going to do, now I will think I might just do something like this. Um... So it's just, let me just pop these out of the way. So all as I did, I've got my embossing stamp here. Um, and I've got a little dobber. And then what I did, I just popped the stencil on top. Just randomly, pop that in there like that. And then just go over the top like that. Just easy peasy. Just randomly, doesn't matter. Just like that. Make sure you've got a good lot of embossing ink on there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I get my, this is why I'm covered in glitter. Get this and sprinkle it over the top. So let's hope this comes out all pretty and sparkly. Tap the excess off and then I'm going to just pop this back in the pot like that and then I'm just going to quickly heat emboss this and there we go doesn't that look gorgeous <gasps> looks lovely you could make because this is quite thin you could make your own wrapping paper and with this, um, I'm going to just, so you just carry on and do the same all over your paper. So you just do it however you like. You don't have to fill the whole sheet. You can just do it in little sections like this. Like that and just keep sprinkling on. I just do it in one section at a time so I know where I am. As I can make a big, big mess. Tap it off like that. Make sure you pop your embossing powder back. And then just heat. And I think it looks fantastic when you heat it. It looks really good. 
Wow, I'm loving this silver and black. Fantastic. So then we just carry on the same thing. Let's just pop that there. Just randomly. Oops, nearly stuck it in the embossing powder. Just like that. Just tip it on. Sprinkle it around and tap it off. I think it looks really nice with the shiny embossing powders because some of them are sort of like the matte ones. But I think for this, I think it looks more um, effective with the shiny. Fabulous. Right, I'm going to quickly finish this off. So I will speed this up a little bit. And there we go. How lovely is that beautiful paper. I'll probably put a little bit more here and here just to sort of even it up a bit but I think that looks beautiful and that's just embossing powder with a bit of recycled packaging how gorgeous is that right shall we do another one let's do a pink and gold one look at me nice and glittery it's the weekend so I can have a nice play that's why I like to do these things at the weekend get nice and messy so let's pick another one let's have a look what we got maybe i should use that one that one looks quite nice and then again i quite like this one i think i will use that and silver because this is really pretty so again these are just these are just um stencils that i got from um aliexpress they're very inexpensive um, and I'm sure you can buy them up, um, in other places as well. You might already have them. Again, you can use stamps, um, anything you've got. So coming up to Christmas, I think um, if you've got any sort of like pretty Christmas stamps, um, you could make your own wrapping paper and I think it would look beautiful. So I'm just going to do a little bit like this random over that and then i'm going to pick a nice pretty this one is um silver tinsel so just sprinkle that on there you can see this one better on here i think that's it just tip it off like that and what i might do i might actually do more on this one and heat it all up in one go let's see Let me get oopsie daisy that's not good is it doesn't do your little dobbers any good doing it through the stencils I wonder if you could probably do this on um, just um, emboss on tissue paper. I've never really tried that. That would make a beautiful wrapping paper, wouldn't it? Just embossing on tissue paper. I must try that. Oops. See, when I do, I end up sticking my fingers in it. That's why I try and heat one piece at a time. Okay, I'm going to heat this now before I make even more mess. Lovely. You could probably even mix the colours. Well, not mix the colours, but you could... <clears throat> do a silver one and then a gold one. Um, heating that it up, it's curling it up. Okay, 
let me put some more of this on. A bit more ink. Just think they look lovely. Let's do a bit more down here. Probably even do some to make the little mini envelopes would look quite nice, wouldn't they? Or just bigger envelopes, maybe. We shall see. Maybe I'll we'll make some and find out. Let's just pop some. Gosh, I do make a mess with this embossing powder. I think I might have to get my hoover out and hoover this up. There we go. Love it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful papers. Now, I do have a Christmas um, stamp here, which I think I might try. Now, I've got a blue one left. Now, I think I'd probably have to do silver with blue. I think that would look quite nice. Now, I've got a stamp here, which is some stars. It doesn't say what make or anything it is, but it's just some little stars like that. So maybe I shall pop that on there. So I'm going to just use this. See if it will come out nicely. Stamp it down well. Let's see what that comes out like. Ooh, nice. That back. Let's heat that up and have a look. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty, isn't it? Let's do one more. And then I will finish it off. Let's do it this way, like that. So pretty, really, really pretty. That would make a really nice, actually, um, baby paper. If you've got a little baby boy, that would look really pretty on there. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. That's lovely. Okay, I'm going to quickly finish this off and I will be back just to show you. Okay, so there we go. That's all finished stamped. So I hope you can see that. A beautiful. I think that looks really, really lovely. Um, on there so there we go guys quick ideas for you just for your recycled paper um, just to emboss it and I think they look absolutely gorgeous I hope you can see that shining on there um, let's take these stencils out of the way that's the black one which I think looks amazing loving that beautiful and then these are the ones that I did previously that is with the verdigris um, embossing powder this one is with some gold which is beautiful that's the another blue and silver this is the golden pink which i'm loving this one is like fishtail so that's a nice one and then we've got the black 
with the browns and greens on there so i think they are all lovely so i hope you're going to give it a go i'll be back and i'll make something with these papers because um, i think they are absolutely beautiful even if you made them as a present for some 